man, the myth, the legend, Joseph Porter. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Y'all about to get preached today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeff, you chose the wrong man to do this. I'm just telling you this right now. Why? <laughs> Jeff told me not to do this, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got two big ideas that I want to share with y'all. The first one I got at camp, and the second one God laid on my heart, my heart this morning. My heart. Uh, the first one I shared with all the people at camp. I said, "The we always hear that He's the God of the hills and valleys, and God is always constant throughout everything, but." I think that we easily forget that the God of youth camp is also the God of the first day of school, the God of the second and third day That's of school. That's right. The God of Sunday morning is the God of Monday morning as well. Amen. That can be very easy to forget, and it's a, it's a struggle sometimes. The same spiritual high that you get on on Sunday morning or at youth camp or anything like that. So that's the same God who's existing when you're going through your trials of every day. That's right. Amen. That's a tough thing to remember, but it's very important. Now, I uh, kind of want y'all to open your Bibles. Uh, John 18, 36. I'm going to read to 38. Now, this is something. There's, this was laid on my heart this morning. The nature of what I want to do whenever I, I graduated recently, I'm now a college student, the nature of what I want to do whenever I uh, grow up, <laughs> I need to stop breathing into this thing. The, the, what I want to do when I grow up is I, I want to be a teacher. And one of the big parts of that is I need to understand what truth is. So. We're going to go to three different verses. They're all in John, so don't worry. I'm sorry that I'm preaching, Jeff, but it's okay. So John 36, I'm going to read to 38. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting, that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from the Jews. My kingdom is not from the world. Then Pilate said to him, so you are a king? Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. For this purpose, I was born for this. For this purpose, I was born for this purpose. I have come into the world to bear witness to the earth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, what is the truth? How many people today are asking that question? Raise your hand. A lot of I'm asking that question truth, all the time. I question what the truth is pretty much every single day. Uh, I spend a lot of my free time discerning what the truth is from the news and everything, and it just, it's really hard sometimes. Now I've got, got the verses written down on my phone, so. Uh, next, I wanna go to John 8, 31 through 32. I guess I should have these bookmarks. Whoops. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you are able, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Amen. Now, the truth will set you free, but of course we still don't know exactly what, what the truth is, but that, that's a very important statement that Jesus made there. The truth will set you free if you abide in it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is you should abide in at John 14, 6. Now y'all probably have this highlighted, but uh, this, is, this is a good one. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Jesus is the truth. Amen. If you abide in Jesus, If you abide in Jesus, you will be set free. I'm done. Amen.
Do you want this? That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Jesus is the truth. Case closed.